Hi, my name is Yehuda Kahane. I would like to take three minutes of your time in order to talk about the future of your firm and organization, and maybe also about the future of mankind. As a professor and expert in risk management, and as a businessman, I believe that the risks and opportunities that we face are often unnoticeable by most people. Would you take the risk to be in a car driven by a blind person? The technological developments of the world is extremely fast. We didn't have the time to adjust the general economic behavior to the old industrial world, to the rules of the new economy. That's true at both the state level as well as the individual business. The old economy strives for the growth of material wealth and achieves it. But at the same time, it has derogatory effects on society, on depletion of resources granted to us and on the environment. Firms and organizations that will continue to behave by the old economy rules resemble a person that cuts a tree branch he is sitting on. Only the organization and businesses that will go by the rules of the new economy have the chance to survive. Businesses as well as the entire economy must quickly change direction as well as the rules of the game. They must transform to the new economy. We need to reboot the system like we reboot our computer restarting from a safe base. The OECD countries have already recognized the need to stop focusing solely on economic growth. They emphasize the desire to reach a general prosperity of society, the economy and the environment. The acronym C. For this we need to select new indices and metrics that are needed for defining the objectives and for evaluation of the achievements. Prosperity will be represented by multiple well-being indicators that alongside the traditional financial measures will measure also the contribution to non-economic indicators like health, ethics, education, housing, environment, employment, justice, happiness, etc. In recent years, we witnessed an increasing awareness to sustainability, that is, an attempt to minimize our footprint. Organizations embracing this concept strive toward eco-efficiency, reduction of their resource consumption. However, such solutions are partial and sometimes non-optimal. We should go beyond sustainability. We should try to leave positive green footprints. This is possible, and it has already been adopted by businesses. Everybody must contribute to the change, but especially the business sector. Top priority should be given to transform the values and the way of thinking of executives, engineers, and designers. This is the reason that I decided to establish the YK Center for Reboot and Prosperity. Leading transformers, game changers, and reboot and design experts have joined us, including Taronel. We have a proven methodology capable of leading a transformation within a few days with remarkable results. YK Center is committed to prepare the young future leaders as well as top business organizations and companies for the new economy. We assist them in looking at things differently in a multidimensional way. This enables them to reach transformation within a very short period and to reach positive performance standards whereby all the C elements are interconnected. I invite you to join the activities of YK Center and to be exposed to the multidimensional prosperous world in which economic, social and environmental considerations are interwoven. I thank you.